Hello, this is Jeff from System Trader Success, and I want to highlight this simple spreadsheet called Trade Analysis and how we're using it in this current series of articles. You'll notice at the very bottom there's going to be several tabs a Summary tab, an All Trades Data tab, a Winning Trades Data tab, and a Losing Trades Data tab. Let's start back out the Summary. The Summary page is going to show you um, what trading system we used. The example we are using is the random entry system. Of course, if you're going to use this spreadsheet in your own system, you'd place the name of the system here. We were trading the Euro currency futures market, so that has a tick value of 1250. You can plug in any value there for the market that you're currently testing. And of course, the date that this test was run. So this value and this value and this value on the summary page are what you need to fill in. The spreadsheet then will go and compute these values. And what it's going to do is it's going to break down all of the trades in this um, little box. This box is going to isolate only winning trades and this box is going to isolate losing trades. And we have within each of those boxes the maximum adverse excursion and maximum favorable excursion. And we have then the statistics for each of those, the mean, the median, and the standard deviation. Now, where do we plug in our data? Well, if you go to the All Data tab, this is the information you want to bring in from the Trade Recorder function. The Trade Recorder function will export in this format, trade number, date, time, net profit, risk, volatility, MAE, MFE, and bars and you just simply cut and paste all of the trades into here. Let me show you what that would look like. Let me go ahead and clear these. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, you can see I cleared the data that was in the uh, All Trades tab. I also went ahead within the Winning Trades and then the Losing Trades also cleared out all that information. What you want to do is go to the file that was generated by the Trade Recorder function and here's the example from our random entry system and here's all the trades. I'm just going to go and grab all these. I'll pause the video I do this because it'll take some time. Okay, have those now. Go back to our trade analysis spreadsheet and we are in the all trades tab and I'm just going to insert these just like that. So if we go look at our summary page obviously now our all trades summary box has information based on the um, trades we just imported but of course there are separate tabs for the winning and losing trades which we have to manually separate and populate that data within the proper tabs the winning and losing trades tabs so let's go back to our all trades and what we can do is sort this I'm going to select by net profit okay net profit I selected the data option up here and I'm going to sort descending. Okay, we get a sort warning, expand selection, that's okay. We now have net profits sorted by pro, um, sorted by profit. What this will allow us to do is easily grab the winning trades, which I'm going to do right now. They're in descending order. We can see the net profit going down. Okay, I'm not going to include the break-evens. We'll put those in losing trades. Copy, and then move this over to our winning trades tab. Okay, here's our winning trades, and paste. Let's go back to our all trades. Go back down to the end. Okay, let's start grabbing these trades that are break-evens and losers. Copy. Go to our Losing Trades tab. And there we go. So we've isolated our winning and losing trades in these two different tabs, which now is reflected in the summary. If we go to our Summary tab, here's the information in regards to our winning trades and our losing trades and we have our mean, median, and standard deviation. So it's a quick little spreadsheet. Um, we're using it for this series on 
um, building trading systems and how to locate a for now how to locate a initial stop to test and uh, I guess that's it hope you find this useful thanks much